Hello everyone and welcome to another plan with me. My name is Courtney and together we will be setting up my March bullet journal. This month's bullet journal theme, if you can call it that, is to use my Fine Tech pearlescent color in copper. So I've challenged myself to use it in every single spread and to use it as much as possible. Go along with that, I have some complementary colors in more of a purple, brown, and a tan hue. So to begin, I am setting up my paint. Now, Fine Tech Pearlescent watercolors are just that, a watercolor, and so they can be quite handy because they're just water activated. I have had this palette for literal years. I need to use it more often because it is beautiful. Um, and so right away, the first thing I'm doing is coming in with a water brush, which holds water in the barrel of the brush, and I'm just letting some water soak into the pan that I've chosen and I'm really working the paint so I'm not rushing this process I'm letting the water seep in sink in and then with my brush I'm really working that water into the paint to really activate it and get a really nice creamy consistency sometimes when you're working with a pearlescent color it can be quite transparent and to combat that, if you really spend the time in the beginning to work the paint, to set up the paint, you can get a really nice opacity. So today I'm working with two different size brushes, but both of them are water brushes. One is smaller and one is a little thicker. So this one right now is my thinner brush and I'm going to go in I'm just grabbing just a little bit off the side there near the edge where it's the least watery to start with my March goals section I'm a little rusty I haven't done proper brush lettering with a actual watercolor brush in a while and so um, the letters are maybe not as perfect as I would like, but I think that they still came out um, pretty beautiful. I'm just taking my time, grabbing a little bit of paint for every couple letters. So just like with a brush pen, I'm putting more pressure on the brush on the downstrokes and lighter pressure on the upstrokes to get that variation. I think I could have pushed the variation of line width a little bit more here, but I think it still turned out pretty cute. Next I'm adding some washi tape to separate the two sections between my March goals and my gratitude log. My setup for each month has been staying pretty consistent with the top section being for a couple goals of the month, the bottom section to be a place to log things I'm grateful for. And then the page opposite is for monthly favorites. So here I have a dino label maker that I have written out the word favorites. And I'm just going in with my copper color to make a banner background. And this is the larger brush that I'm doing this swash of color with. I am now going in with my Tombow to do some block lettering above it. Going into the weekly spreads, I am beginning by doing the mini calendar that I like to do at the top of each week. This first week has a mini calendar for both February and March because the days of the week include both months. Trying to decide how to incorporate 
my paint first. You can see that when I was setting up this week, I did make a little bit of an error, and that is why you can see the white outlines there, but it's not too obvious, and in person it's even less obvious than it is in the video. So I just work around it and make sure not to put any marker or paint in those areas, and so my layout has the paint below. Just being really light with the pressure, but making sure that my paint is loaded onto my brush, keeping the paint moist throughout this process and working it consistently. So this is a sticker sheet that I got from Michaels ages and ages ago. It was like a scrapbooking set and it had a bunch of different sheets. And so I am using the days of the week stickers to add some variety and to keep that shape consistent, that rectangular shape. For the days, uh, the numbers of the days, I'm coming in with a Sharpie fine liner. I had to use a Sharpie for this because my other markers that I have would not paint over the pearlescent color. It wouldn't show up as clearly. So I've decided to use the Sharpie for that. And it turned out really well. And then coming in with the Tombow again for the number of the week to keep that color palette nice and consistent. A little tissue between pages so that I can move swiftly from one week to the next without having to worry about any transfer between the pages. This time when I'm working on my spreads, I'm trying really hard to create some variety in the colors and not just have black for everything, which is why I have a few more marker options. Here you can see that my letter forms are quite simple and my pressure on that brush tip is very light. I'm not pushing down hardly at all. do the numbers, I'm just coming in with that Tombow, and then bringing in some of that purple with a mild liner, and then using some of the washi tape. Uh, the two washi tapes that I use in this video are from Michaels, they're both from Michaels, I purchased them ages ago. So beyond using copper in each one of my spreads, the other thing that I'm trying to do is to really fill the space and make it look full and finished. To do that, I am working with consistent shapes in each spread. I am changing up the colors that I'm using while still sticking to a consistent color palette. And I'm incorporating a lot more washi tape than I had in the past. I'm still choosing to keep the opposite pages of each week all blank because I have been consistent in filling those out throughout the week with any milestones that are going on right now. Um, I've been really enjoying logging my meal plans. It's been keeping me consistent and accountable for one of my goals this year, which is to make intentional meals. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a flip through of completed months. So here I had the intention of writing out the dates of each day in that rectangle, but it didn't really work. I messed up on the first one, so instead I did a color swash to fill the space. 
and then I came in with a sticker to do the dates instead and it turned out pretty good but just an example of you know happy accidents Again, you can see here I'm keeping my shapes consistent for each week. I'm repeating patterns and repeating decorative elements. I've decided to use my Dynamo label maker to kind of mirror the stickers that I have for the days of the week. So it all kind of worked together. For the next week, I'm setting up this sticker that I've had on hand, again, from a Michael scrapbooking set I got a while ago. And I'm just saying week 12 with a little bit of a doodle, kind of decorative flourishes around with the copper paint. Not really having a plan and just kind of going where the shapes take me. love the oversized sticker here and how it really fills the space. Deciding to use one of my go-to's which is these color swatches with a Tombow pen and then incorporating the copper with a circle in each upper corner. Because again, I'm challenging myself to use this copper pearlescent paint in every single spread as much as I can. So to fill up this space, I'm just doing some more little swashes. Now for this one, I'm going in with a Posca paint marker in fine to get that white crisp line for the days of the week. For the last spread, I decided that I would like to incorporate more of the mild liners. I don't think I used them enough, so I was trying to make sure I got lots of use out of them in this spread. Again, this week has days from both March and April, with the majority of the days landing in March, so that way it falls into this month's spread as opposed to next month's spread. I decided my motif for this week would be some triangles, and so I am making these copper triangles for each of the days. Here's a nice shot of a different angle, just making sure that I have not a lot of pressure on my brush, and it is uh, dipping into the paint in between every triangle to make sure it is really loaded to get the most opacity. And there we go. The last step is just to stick that favorites on now that the paint is dried. And here we are all finished. So excited to share this month's spread with you. I think that the shine and shimmer of the copper mixed with the subtle and more muted purples and browns. And then of course some bold stickers and bold black lines. I think it all really came together somehow, and I'm really pleased with it.
There might have been a couple of mistakes along the way, but nothing too detrimental and it all came up looking good at the end. Definitely enjoying the more busy look, a little more maximalist this week, this month. Enjoying the use of washi tape and layering different elements. Lots of different textures between the more transparent mild liners, the shimmery pearl essence fine tech color, the sticker consistency, and then the markers that I've used and the washi tape. So lots of different textures, thicknesses of lines and strokes but the color palette is still pretty contained, pretty controlled. I do really like this one. I think this one might be my favorite. Last week, lots of fun, a little brighter than the other ones. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the process and, and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.